Almost everyone agrees that MacBooks have pretty great trackpads, and there's some nice built-in gestures that are enjoyable to use and add some nice functionality. But imagine if you could create custom gestures that allow you to do things like quickly switch tabs or even adjust the brightness and volume of your computer from the trackpad. Well, now you can. Let's get started. So the way that we add this extra functionality is through a third party app called Multitouch. Now the app is paid, but don't click off the video yet. There is a completely free 30 day trial that doesn't require your credit card or anything. So you can completely try out the app before you buy it for a whole month. I put the link in the description if you want to check it out. So what Multitouch allows you to do is create custom shortcuts. So as you can see, the app has four tabs, one for the trackpad, magic mouse, keyboard, and a preferences tab. I'm gonna mostly ignore the preferences tab for now as it doesn't really relate to the other things that are going on, but the other three tabs function in pretty similar ways. First, you create a new action. Then you define which apps it works in, and then you decide what action it will take. So for example, with this new action that I created, which works globally across the OS, where I hold one finger and swipe up with one finger to the right, it will make the window smaller. So if I go into the app store here, it simply makes the window smaller very conveniently. For example, I set up these commands here for browsers to switch tabs left and right using two fingers down and one finger tapping, which are super convenient and work across all browsers. So if I go into Chrome and simply hold one finger and tap with the other, I can easily switch tabs back and forth, which is a lot easier than reaching around with the cursor to actually hit the tabs. Now you can customize the shortcuts even further in two ways. Firstly, you can add modifier keys. These would usually be something like command, control, or option. And this way the action will only work while those keys are being held down. And then the other way that you can customize these actions is by setting them to double tap. Now this won't apply to everything, but for actions where you tap, this will require a double tap for it to execute, meaning less accidental uses. So now, now that I've set that and gone into Chrome, it now takes two taps to switch. Now, multi-touch lets you take advantage of the new force touch trackpads. Well, actually they're not really new anymore. Well, anyways, the Force Touch trackpads are great, and Multitouch lets you use them for extra things. So, for example, the way I have it set up, and this is super convenient in just tons of situations, if I click a hard in the top right of the trackpad, it turns up the volume, and then it turns down the volume in the top left, and in the bottom right it turns up the brightness, and in the bottom left it turns down the brightness. Now this does mean I can't click normally in the bottom of those trackpad areas, but this is just super convenient. My MacBook Pro has a touch bar, which, you know, it, it's kind of bad for quickly switching things. So being able to use the trackpad to switch my brightness and volume is just super, super convenient. And I honestly use this so many times a day without even thinking about it. And one other cool gesture that I've set up is swiping with two fingers from the left edge. Now, I'm sure you already know about swiping with two fingers from the right edge to access Notification Center, but I now have it set up so if I swipe from the left edge, I can scroll through my Alt Tab menu. This is just really convenient for quickly accessing apps, and is a lot easier than using the keyboard if your hands are already on the trackpad. Of course, there are tons of other gestures you can add, and there are just tons of options within Multitouch. So, Everything I've shown is just an example, and there's so much more that you can do with this app. Now, before I get out of here, I just wanna show a few things in the preferences section. There's some things here to start the app on login and restart it on wake, which I would keep enabled. And there's a few other options to sync trackpad clicks and provide haptic feedback. I find these are just super nice for giving a more satisfying feel, but you could disable them if you prefer. There's also these touch precision and swipe sensitivity triggers. These just change how sensitive it is to your gestures. So that's multi-touch and it's just honestly a super great app and it is well worth the few dollars you have to pay for it. There, and remember there is a completely free trial. So if you are interested, just check out the link I've left in the description. 
I think a lot of people could benefit from the features of multi-touch, so if you're interested in all this, I would definitely say check it out. I honestly, guys, this isn't sponsored, but this app is just, it's so good, and every Mac user with a trackpad or even a magic mouse should probably check it out. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like, and if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe as well. Of course, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Also, the next video will be less Mac exclusive, and I know a lot of my subscribers don't have Macs, and don't appreciate the Mac content as much, so stay tuned. Also, wear a mask.